So the DAX, 81% extreme short bias amongst retail traders. And if we map that onto a price, you can see that longs have been getting out, shorts have been holding on, if not outright averaging in, and the bulk of these shorts have been initiated below market price. So blue dotted line for percent long bias, you can see that there's, it's been going down as price has been going up because longs have been taking profit and shorts are holding on. Same story exists when it comes to both Dow and NASDAQ for the US. In terms of retail sentiment, it's also near extreme short territory, 77% for both as of today morning. But when it comes to CO2, uh, larger speculative traders. The latest report that was released last Friday, we don't have any figures when it comes to the German DAX, but we do have for Dow and NASDAQ. And if that's any indication, you can see that they're holding heavy to extreme long bias in the case of Dow reaching 81%. And if we map that onto a chart, you can see, in this case, taking a green dotted line for COT sentiment, you can see how as price is going up, COT, the larger speculative traders have been positioning themselves for further gains while retail traders have been taking profit and going to the short side. Same story exists when it comes to the NASDAQ. But the question on everyone's mind is, are these gains sustainable? I mean, we know there hasn't been anything in terms of trade. There has been slightly more optimism. Fine, that should take prices slightly higher. But but the gains that we're seeing, the fresh record highs, or at least in the case of the German DAX, where the German economy is definitely isn't showing signs of health, uh, yet the German DAX is going higher, that may have more to do with what the central bank is doing. The ECB uh, initiating its, its uh, bond purchasing program this month and uh, forcing more money into riskier assets like equities. And in the case of the US, although the Fed hasn't officially declared any sort of uh, quantitative easing program, they are injecting money into the short-term uh, markets, and that money might be making its way right back towards equities.